Hi guys, welcome along to this video series on this amazing plugin, Arcade by Output. My name is Larry Holcomb and I'm here with Gru3 to deliver this video series for you. Now Arcade is one of those products that comes along every once in a while that really pushes music production and music technology into a new area. It uses cloud-based technology to allow you to have a constantly evolving product with new product lines being added daily so that it's constantly expanding and giving you new content. Now it's somewhere between a loop browser and sample library and a sampler stroke synthesizer. And by that I mean you can use it as a standalone browser to search through lots of different packs of sounds and loops. And you can also manipulate them to put your own slants on them and fine tune them to fit exactly what you need them to do. Now it lets you organize all your sounds from within the plugin itself. So there's no need to have folders and different organizational structures with all your loops in there because you can do it all from within Arcade and that's great. You can also use it to add your own loops as well. So you can customize your own loop library and import it into Arcade. Now, when you actually download the different sounds in Arcade, if for some reason you're not online, you'll actually be able to access those sounds because they're then downloaded onto the hard drive. And what's also great about Arcade is that if you choose to cancel your subscription, it's not like the plugin will no longer be available to you. It just means that you'll only have access to whatever you've downloaded in Arcade so far. So if you choose not to have the outlay for Arcade for a couple of months, you can do that and you still have access to the plugin. You can also cancel at any time, so there's no long-term contract. Okay, so let's just load in a sound from here. So we'll choose this Avocado Summer. So I just click, clicked on the load option there and it's obviously already been loaded. Now, this is one of our product lines. And we can talk about this in more detail later on, but this is a selection of different loops, 15 in fact, which also have their own different settings for effects and macros and modifiers to allow us to manipulate these sounds. So I can either play this by pressing on these keys here. This represents two octaves of our keyboard or using the MIDI keyboard. I can also play them together. Now these are selections of different loops which are all designed to go together. I have these macros allowing me to manipulate these sounds. We have our modifiers here, which represent our black keys. We have a mixer so we can go even more in depth in manipulating our sounds. We also have settings for the macros and a modulation section as well. So this is the kind of synth sampler part of Arcade, where we can really go in and manipulate these sounds and customize them. So just having a little brief look at the interface, so whenever we want to access our browser, all we need to do is click on this section up here. And we'll get to our browser. Now, our sounds are organized into lines, kits, and loops, which we're going to discuss in more detail in the next video. And this overall makes up our browser section. So there are two main sections, the browser section and the synth section. Now, the synth section is the keyboard with our loops assigned to them, also our different modifiers and our access to those, and also these areas down here with the mixer and the modulation and also the macro overview. Now for each loop we have added, we can also use these edit buttons here to actually go in and further fine tune that loop in more detail. Really, really powerful stuff. So when you bear in mind as well that these loops are all gonna lock into the project tempo and we can also lock them in to a key as well, you start to realize the power that you have with Arcade because it can really make music production a lot faster and a lot more fun in many ways. So you could go through some of your other loop packs and dig out some of the sounds that you like, organize them together, add them in to Arcade, and you can build your own custom kits that will be locked to the project tempo and a master key. It's pretty powerful stuff. Okay, so that's just a little intro into Arcade, a welcome along to the series, and also a brief look at how things are organized and the interface. In the next video, we're going to have a look at 
lines, kits and loops in more detail so you can understand the hierarchical structure of the loop browser. Thanks a lot for watching.